in the new Logitech Masters 3S, the latest version. So you see, this is the it moves quite fast. And here we have the previous mouse anchor uh, ergonomics, also with Bluetooth connection. And then what we do, if you want to uh, adjust the speed, you'll have to go to the home and you go to the system settings. And inside system settings, you scroll down until you arrive to mouse. And then um, you have here how fast the mouse should be. So at the beginning it was like this and it was like kind of sloppy and it's like, oh, this is not moving. And then I just adjusted a bit faster. So that's the, we can go very, very fast. So we'll just put it here to this level, uh, not too fast and not too slow, just between these lines. And then you have the natural scrolling. If you want to have the natural scrolling also, you can turn this on. Do you like this option? Leave the comments please below and let me know. So that's one way to adjust your mouse speed. And you have the scrolling speed also that you can adjust from here. But my recommendation is not to do it from here, but actually go with the Logi option with the application from Logi. Logitech. So you just download the application and it just loads. And then what we have, you have here the mouse that's activated, it says 55% battery life, and we click on it. And then you have this option with point and scroller. And you see here is a speed 59%. I'm not sure if this will play any role if I go to system settings and I'm trying to change the speed from here. So let's see. can see it's the same speed 59 so let me just turn it back not here it's an m1 anyway m1 mac mini <laughs> so we go to the system settings mouse and then get this speed back as it was and what we do now um, we have different options to click on, on this uh, pointer speed so what it's recommended is to extend the sensor range to 8K DPI. What I have as a monitor is this LG monitor. So it's a 27 inch monitor 4K. It works very well with my um, Mac mini M1 chip. So it's not easy to find a good monitor for the M1 chip for the, for the Mac, especially because of the, the quality of the image. But this one, you can see it has what it needs. Uh, and even it has, you know, the Apple uh, Magic Mouse and the, the keyboard. So it indicates you can, it's compatible with, with your Mac. So that's all the information about this LG monitor. You can have a look at it. And also what was interesting is that the um, Hertz refresh rate is 60. So it has the 60, same as the iMac uh, 24 inch with M1 chip. So it has the same refresh rate over here. So what's the recommendation of um, the settings? So we have Tech Kamun. So he does some recommendation about the pointer speed. Let's see what he says. Which makes tracking on larger screens and multi screens a lot smoother and faster. And I've definitely noticed a difference. But for me, I actually set my DPI between sort of three and a half thousand to four thousand anyway so for me it's not that useful but for some they might want that extra dpi now one very small difference so that's what he recommended to go into the logitech and then turn this on and then we have the dpi speed so he said around 3000 if you go 3000 you know it's just all over the place it's just too much too much speed so i don't find it very well with this i just turned this on and then the sweet pot, a spot, um, it's going to be around 1000, 1500, depends on how you get used to it. So let's see what others are saying. You have here um, Enrico Claudio that he says that um, more than 2500 is too much for him. So 2000, it's the sweet spot for him. That's his setup and that's what he recommends. Mac Studio over here. So let's try to do the same. Let's see what uh, Logitech says. So they have also the official website of Logitech. So you 
see here around 2000 we put the, the speed so let's try to do the same 1500 we have set it up so 2000 yeah that's good that's good enough 2500 that'll be still reasonable uh, case it's kind of just all over the place 2000 so I will, I will recommend something around 2000 or even 1500 1800 so you can play here between these values uh, also based on here on this recommendation 2000 dpi it's just the best um, for, for him so we can have the same option so i hope you enjoyed here are some tips that's the monitor being used mac mini m1 and um, that's some recommendation on youtube as well so i hope you enjoyed on the best